Oh man, I haven't slept in a while. My name is Michael Urcubera. I'm excited to go to sleep. Not tonight, but tomorrow because uh, I'm moving out of this apartment ASAP because if there's bed bugs, uh, the exterminator's not coming in till Monday. So screw that. I'm out of here. See you. Goodbye. Today we're discussing about Steam and more specifically Steam it, a platform which I promoted heavily on this channel and my other one. And is one of the main reasons I actually started Kubera. You know, Chaincoin was one of my first videos, but Steam it, the platform platform really interested me because at the time I was like wow this is a combination of cryptocurrencies and social media so every single post that I upload I get paid for it and one of the first posts that I made you know at that time people were making good money it wasn't like crazy later on a few months after that yeah some people were getting paid up to a few thousand dollars per post but the very beginning of steam it when people were making ten thousand dollars per post that's when there was a lot of movement going on however i got a couple hundred dollars from a whale a steam whale and that's when i was hooked with the platform i was like this is it screw everything i love decentralization i love the idea however the original founders behind steam it well they moved on to eos and other projects because there was a lot more money in it steam was worth millions and millions of dollars but these guys were looking for billion dollar valuations and they did get that and justin sun uh, he came into the picture with a hostile takeover recently so let's roll the intro here's another billionaire oh man there's always some crypto drama <laughs> i can't wait to go to sleep so let's roll it Here we go. So Steemit is up. It's up 38%. And now is a crazy time because you go to coin market cap and Bitcoin's down, Ethereum's down, Ripple's down, everything's down, you know, Tether's up, right? Because people were just going into Tether when, when the economy was freaking crashing all around us this past week. I mean, if you look at the market cap, we're at 150 billion and sure it's stabilizing a little bit right now this past week. But <laughs> what's been going on, what's been going on recently is very crazy so in february 14th we were at 304 billion now we're at 149 and a half billion all it takes is one month and boom we're less than half of the valuation for everything however if you look at the 24 hour change steam is up and it's up by a lot there's only a few coins that are up in the greens and most of them are below double digits there's only five coins double digits 10 16 18 19 there's one coin that's over 20 there's one coin that's nearly 40 percent so why did steam pump now, this was a question by one of my cryptocurrency partners and so i decided to look into it because this is the first time i saw wow there's something going on with steam steam fell so far back and it used to be in the top 50 coins it's already 56 right now the volume 24 hour volume is 14.8 million dollars but it used to be so much better i mean if we click on steam we're going to find out a little bit more and here's how we got to the bottom of this i haven't been uploading on steam in a while but oh man the good times the market cap was over 1 billion here it was actually a 2 billion dang that is crazy and the price was eight dollars and eight cents and steam actually had uh what was going on here it, it it jumped up the market cap the price everything uh but that was back in the good old days of 2016 and i thought well you know steam's gonna have that for a third time and a fourth time <clears throat> but unfortunately it's been down for quite a bit it's been down 73 percent however we saw that there's a lot going on here so i looked up one of my good old favorite old websites coingecko.com we saw that there's some action with steam it's at 17 and a half it's up 35.4 percent and most of this traffic's coming from up it it's a korean website right so i looked it up and krw i just wanted to see what's going on with krw so it's been going down and i thought well this is this is a correlation. Uh, we see that the South Korean won compared to the U.S. dollar. So maybe there was a wealthy Korean whale who just wanted to pump into steam for some reason. We had a lot of steam. But I thought, nah, that's not it. It has to be something bigger than that because no one's just going to pump it up just for, like, it doesn't make any sense. So I went on steam and I looked up pump and I couldn't find anything. But then I just went to the homepage. I was like, oh, here we go. When I've seen the launch of Hive Blockchain, what's 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 this? Did the Steam community just leave Steam? What you need to know about the Hive Blockchain? Hello, Hive, and I just keep seeing more Hive and Binance Hive, and uh, there's more Hive. So what happened essentially? The reason uh, it pumped so crazy a few hours ago, four hours ago, as you could see, lots of volume right here. What happened was the Steam community took back 
what they originally had and Justin Sun what they were really upset about that he took away from them. Steam community plans hostile hard fork to flee Justin Sun's Steam it. So they planned it yesterday and today the coup actually happened. For this initial hard fork, one key thing will change. The tokens from the original development fund controlled by Steam it will not be carried over to the new chain. Everyone else's will be ported over. Justin Sun didn't understand that the underlying value of those tokens is the community. In the end, if not enough people support those tokens, they become worthless. Decentralize this. What will change? In terms of Steam token supplies, the developers will take a snapshot of all the wallets at some block, then allocate the same token volume to all the wallets on the new chain. So there's a community hard fork. If you have Steam, you'll also get hot. One of the initial changes will be an improvement in the DPoS, Distributed Proof of Stake system, to prevent attacks of the sort in the future. So users are holding right now because they want to get the new blockchain's tokens, then he expects Steam will be widely dumped. This guy who's talking about this is a Steam whale, and he's planning to dump accordingly. So witnesses were stuck choosing between voting for Steam and Justin Sun or voting for the future decentralization and Hive. I'll leave you some article links below to go fully into it. But the gist is, Steemit is trying to find a better future without Mr. Justin Sun. An airdrop is happening. Some people may make some money out of it. I'm sure Justin Sun's not going to be too happy about it. And Binance has already announced its intention to support the Hive airdrop. Its users will not need to withdraw their Steam to claim Hive tokens, but there are no guarantees that the new token will be listed on the exchange. The Hive platform will initially only make small alterations to the Steam code to allow the community to decide on the future of the platform. So that's that for Steam. Oh man, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. The recession is going on. There's over 210,000 confirmed cases. The world is going crazy. But my biggest concern right now is these bugs. So we're getting out of here because I'm all bugged out right now. Seriously, I hate not sleeping. Sleep is incredibly important, but I don't want to get bitten. I'm not doing that. I tried sleeping at the table today. That's not happening either. I can't do it. I, my back hurts. I'm not. I'm leaving everything behind. So see you guys in the next video. I don't know where I'm going to be recording that one. Maybe my new apartment. But I don't know. There's. I hope there's no bugs there. If you enjoyed it, please leave your comments down below. Let me know your opinion about this hostile takeover and the community's reaction to it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you hated it, hit that dislike button twice. And then we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.